Hey everybody, Bat Merc here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Batman The Last Night on Earth, book 3. Uh, basically, if you haven't been following it, it's uh, Batman set in a post-apocalyptic universe. It's written by Scott Snyder and Capullo. They're like, you know, salt and pepper, man. They're like the super team of Batman and um, Batman uh, writer and artist. So if you haven't read any of their stuff, then I don't know, you probably want to go check that out first because this is a grand finale of all their uh, all their work up until then. Um, yeah, basically it's it's uh, Batman going through this um he's going through a this post apocalyptic setting. Um, he's he's actually like a clone of Bruce Wayne that's been brought back to life to fight the injustices of the new world, and um, everything's been everyone's been taken out. Um, Lex Luthor basically has been like cloning Superman to, to Superman to try to make like the best Superman to come back and fix things. There was a, a lot of stuff that went bad with him in the, in the origin, but the book came out so long ago. I'd have to go back and reread it. But um, right now, Bruce is traveling with the uh, a head of um, Joker, and, and that's like a sidekick in here. And um, they uh, they they come across to Gotham City, and that's like where it's kind of ending right now and all the uh all the uh the bat family have turned into talents now because there's an evil batman running the show and they want to break into wayne wayne enterprises wayne tower that's where the new batman he calls himself the omega i think he calls himself the omega because he took out dark side so he's like he's the shit he's like the motherfucker so you know um they're trying to sneak in so they um they meet up with selena kyle and she's working for him and she's kind of like kind of sneak him in and um you know there's there's all these different fallen uh bat family <clears throat> comrades that have fallen and they're inside the uh the owl cave it's now it used to be the bat cave and now it's the owl cave that they live and you got jim gordon he's he's older now and barbara gordon's alive and he, she has a daughter and diana she's she's got the mohawk now and she's all of um the mascara has been basically taken out but yeah they're trying to find a way into the into the um the 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 Wayne Tower, and um, they 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 actually find a way in through the sewers, and um, there's this like really cool point where uh, you know Batman's down there and he's fighting all these uh, Omega men, these Omega soldiers. It's a cool little action set piece by Capullo. He's kicking that dude in the face, slamming that one's head down into the water. The other one jumps on his back, and uh, then out of nowhere, clang! This big old like. I don't know, man. It's just like a a bat suit, you know, thing that Bruce Wayne or um something that um something that uh, one of the uh uh members of um Omega has created, and it's just like this cool like robotic uh d distorted Batman. It looks pretty tight though. Capullo and Snyder, man, they always make these cool like robotic bat suits and stuff like that. You know, I, I love that's one thing I like about their uh, the writing among other things. But yeah, it's, you know, it's drowning him in the water, smashing his head in the ceiling, knocking him into the wall. It's about to take him out, and he's like, J Joker. No, not Joker. Robin! <laughs> he's like, Buddha, 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 Buddha. <laughs> Just shooting that thing up, dude. Joker's the Robin in this book, you know? Something a little different. It's kind of fun. It's You know, it's an Elseworld story, so I'll go with it. It's hilarious. That dude earned it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you know, they're they're uh, trying to infiltrate um, Wayne, uh, Wayne Tower, and um there's this there's this funny scene where they're trying to get in and um I'm trying to sneak in Batman and Joker and he's like oh wait, wait, wait right before you open the door let me uh <clears throat> let me come up with a cool robin line and, you know and he's trying to figure he's like I'll, I'll figure something out and then finally they open the door and he's like holy shit Batman and he's like how was that you know so they get in there and there's this the evil Batman Omega has got all these like trophies of all the fallen like uh all the fallen like members of um looks like the justice league also you know the, the bad guys too though he's also taken out like or actually yeah you know all the yellow lanterns black adam brainiac cheetah looks like the um the demon etrigan bizarro joker so he was taking out the bad guys looks like he had to um and then finally he takes him down it's a pretty cool you know design at first i, I wasn't really feeling the design of the suit but I think it looks cool, you know. Um, something different, you know. It's kind of there's only so many ways you could redesign the bat suit. I mean, even if you play uh, Injustice Two, man, you could really get in there and create a new a new bat suit. But yeah, it's cool, you know. And uh, yeah, so basically, um, 
this this new Omega Cat, he he's been uh, creating different Bruce Waynes to come back and take over and save the world. So I think he can transfer his consciousness into the new Bruce Wayne's body. I gather, uh, I could be wrong, but I'm gonna have to go back and again reread it again. And then you know you, you you're trying to figure out who this who this guy is. The Joker comes up and then boom, he just kicks him in the chest, Whack, crunch, and just starts smashing his smashing him up. And I like this line right here. He's like, "Don't feel so bad." He got to die as he always wanted, fighting Batman. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, this Joker in here is pretty crazy. And uh, yeah, you find out spoilers. I'm gonna spoil the hell out of this. He takes his mask off, and um, you know, you find out that it's actually Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne's Omega, the, the OG Bruce Wayne. This is the real Dark Knight Returns right here. <laughs> he really returns with a vengeance in this book. I did not expect it to be that. I thought it would have been like Joe Chill's son or something like that, you know? Like maybe Joe Chill's son made a deal with Darkseid and he was the Omega. You know, but it's straight up OG Bruce Wayne. He's, you know, shit got real and he just went nuts and started, you know, exterminating everybody and the world just went went to shit. And yeah, that's, you know, that's pretty much how the story goes. Um, there's, there's a cool little, like, showdown he has with... Um, Cool little showdown he has it right coming up pretty soon with um the, with uh Bruce and and the new the new Bruce clone and then you come to find out that uh I gather that that the Joker he kind of helped set up this whole like psyche of the new Bruce Wayne um I think he played him I think he played Joe Chill like in a in a scene from the previous issue where he's inside an apartment and I don't know kind of tr trying to ruffle up um. Bruce Wayne's repressed memories about his parents just to kind of help him feel like the real Batman. But I could be wrong. I mean, I, if someone knows, they can explain a little better, but I have to go back and reread all the other issues. It's just they release them so far apart, it's hard to remember everything. But yeah, um, a lot of cool stuff in here. These fools charge and head on. I didn't, you know, there's a cover shot. It's from the from the beginning. I didn't think they were going to actually, um, like, literally... Or figuratively um, do that in the book because sometimes you know the cover just sells it, but I like how they reproduced it. It actually does happen in the book. And um, there's a cool little uh, money shot right here. I don't want to show everything for the copyright chroniclers, but that right there, that's a T-shirt. You know, it's pretty cool. He he actually wins. There's a bigger fight, but you can go ahead and check that out. There's some more. And then there's an even there's another ending too on top of this, but I'm not gonna spoil it 100. percent So that way you guys can go out there and pick this book up. Um, I think this is gonna be the way of the future. You know that they're gonna start putting out these these books like this. They're high quality comic book. You know people unfortunately mostly that read comics are you know 30 year olds, 40 year olds, 50 year olds, 60 year olds, and this is you know the hard R stuff, the black label stuff. So definitely I recommend uh, Batman: The um, Last Night on Earth. I will give it a two horns up. And uh, yeah, you know, check it out. If you like comics, metal, movies, and brewskis, then, uh, you know, smash that like button, subscribe, and have a great day, folks. Thank you.